Hey, Coach. We've started to hear a little bit more uh, positive buzz on Jakarta your right since, since last season ended. Uh, is there is there a reason to kind of believe in the hype that he's kind of going in the right direction? Yeah, he's going. He's heading in the right direction. Uh, he's worked hard this offseason. Uh, he continues to grow as a football player, as he understands what we're doing offensively. And uh, again, it's just a process. And sometimes guys are ready to go early and some guys are, it takes time. So, but uh, he's progressing in the right direction. And then how has uh, Joe Irvin kind of responded? He didn't play last year. Of course he opted out, but coach Kleiman said that the, I think, I think it was coach Kleiman said the light was starting to turn off for him after a week or two from being back. Are you kind of seeing the same thing? Yes, for sure. You know, one thing um, when we got started, I didn't talk about him sitting out. We just went right into it and uh, he's jumped in right away and uh, he's shown his abilities and things he needs to work on. Uh, he's willing to do and uh, he's worked hard and and uh, he's developing really nice right now. And then we kind of know what Deuce can do. He made a splash as a true freshman. How can he carve out the rest of his game or what what other parts of his game would you like to see him to become a more complete player well obviously you know protection is always a concern for because of his size but he knows where to go he knows what to do it's just getting his technique down and then obviously seeing the big picture when i say they're seeing the big picture is seeing defenses how guys are aligned and making those un, un off track runs those off schedule runs where, hey, this it's designed to go this way, but if they overplay it, you can cut the ball back. And he's done that this spring. And so he's starting to progress in the right direction. And lastly, just kind of from a macro point of view, what's what's one or two things that you've seen or, or kind of observed this spring that really gives you excitement about what is to come with your position group? I think the depth right now, uh, you know, we got guys who are really, really fast. We got guys who are quick. We got guys who are bigger. Uh, we got guys who can catch the ball. So uh, getting guys on the field and taking advantage of their uh, skill set is a big, big thrill for me right now. Thanks, Coach. That's Hey, Coach, good to see you. Um, kind of following up on what Derek just asked, do, it's obvious what Deuce brings to the field. I mean, fans can see that, but how important is, is he at, in the locker room in, in your film room and those type of things? Oh, it's big. I mean, he's a humble kid. He understands he doesn't have the success without his teammates. He understands that. And he carries himself in that manner and having him in the meeting rooms, uh, having him uh, in the locker room, uh, being a good, a voice uh, and then just being by example, how he practices every single day is, is, is having him around is a big thing for our football program. And he stepped right in and played quite a bit. Uh, and that may not have been true. If Joe had been around, uh, we don't know. But now that Joe's back, how how good is it to have someone of that caliber push and deuce? It's it's awesome, you know, because they complement each other very well, uh, even though they're on the smaller side. But uh, Joe has a lot of punch uh, behind it, behind his behind his frame, and uh, and he has uh, speed behind his frame. So uh, having those two guys in the backfield at the same time, along with Mosey, and then having Jacardia size and the other guys in the room, I mean, it's been great. Uh, you kind of have a top four there. You you mentioned those guys. Anyone else kind of stepping forward in your room that uh, is making progress? Uh, Jordan Shippers has done a great job moving over from defense. Uh, Clyde Price continues to grow a as a, a player, and KJ Senko also. So well, everyone's doing well because they're all getting reps. So there's no way. There's no way. A uh, kid can't get better because the way we practice. Every, every kid's getting an opportunity to get reps, and so every kid is, is, is growing. So uh, as long as they continue to do the things they need to do during the offseason, this summer, and get into fall camp, I, I feel really good about our room. Well, thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Michael. Hey, Brian, what can Jamar Mosey do to differentiate himself in the running back room? Uh, can you say that again, please? What can Mosey do to differentiate himself in the running back room? Uh, I mean, it's just there. Continue. To, uh, I don't try to. I don't try to get those guys to um, compete against the other guys in the room. Basically, what I want guys to do, I want them to grow and be themselves. And 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 when you lose, utilize their skill set as an offense, 
Um, like for Mosey, for, in, for instance, he's, he's fast. He's a 10, 600 meter guy. We need to find roles for him to use his speed. Uh, it's not about him just running between the tackles like a deuce or catching balls out of the backfield like deuce. We got to use his skill set to, to our advantage. And his skill set is speed. And so it's our job to find ways to get him in those situations. And, and he's done a better job of that, uh, of using his speed because now he's not thinking as much. And so we just got to continue to grow, uh, get him going in the right direction and utilize his, his skill set. Thanks, Coach. Derek. Yeah, Coach, one thing I want to touch on is it, it appears that perhaps the dead period might end in the next maybe two months, two months from now. What, what kind of – what does that do for you guys' program and how you recruit? Because I imagine uh, visits probably – are more important for your program and having to kind of defeat maybe some of the stereotypes that are out there? Well, it's big. You know, if we can get kids on campus, that's a big advantage for us uh, because uh, what we have to offer here, not just as a university, but as a coaching staff and people getting to see us and see how we interact with our players and, and how we handle our program. And I think that's big for us to continue to grow this program uh, to what we want. And so uh, if this dead, this dead period ends here soon, and we can get kids on campus, that's going to help us tremendously.